국무총리 평택 세계문화주간 크로아티아 문화주간 개막식에 함께 해주신 평택 시민 여러분 그리고 함께 해주신 모든 분들 진심으로 환영합니다. 아드리아헤이 숨은 보소로 알려진 크로아티아와 한국이 올해 수교 30주년을 맞이했습니다. 이번 문화주간을 초석으로 평택시와 크로아티아 폴란시는 자매 결혼을 통해 더욱더 활발한 교류 활동으로 공공 외교의 발전을 위해 노력하겠습니다. I'm very glad to inform you that in the last few years we have organized a number of the Korean concerts, exhibitions and presentations of the Korean uh, art in Croatia and Croatian public is delighted with beauty of the Korean traditional music and dance, Korean traditional art printed on hanji paper. They have enjoyed in the beautiful Korean hanbok show and adored the wonderful Korean food. <laughs> In order for visitors to fully enjoy the event, what are some tips for them? What should they expect from each program or event? I mean, using this. Yeah, we, we are very glad that uh, city of Piontek uh, offer us this opportunity to present Croatia in a couple of days and in a much more systematic way and to bring the part of the Croatian culture, history, tradition, uh, arts uh, to the Korean people. We have the concert by, played uh, by piano player Mia Lezovic. Uh, we would have uh, some opera songs from Croatia, uh, variety of the beautiful photos of Croatia, because I think that uh, when we talk about uh, my country, besides that we will have some culinary experience mm -hmm. up to our capacity and the interest of the local people. How would you describe Pula city and why tourists from South Korea should give attention? The Pula, city of Pula is a very old Roman city. It's built in the first century and uh, one of the best preserved Roman amphitheaters, Arena, uh, is in Pula. It's, uh, Pula is the place where every summer uh, we use for the opera concerts, the classical or contemporary music or rock music. Uh, we use for the different performances from theater and Shakespearean uh, place uh, to any kind of the modern place. Uh, this is the power of pool. I mean, the number of temples and architecture that really goes back to very early, early age. Uh, Pula is by far the one of the most important uh, military ports of history. Now it's less relevant, of course, but still it's a it's, uh, unique uh, construction of the city. When you were ambassador to Finland, we visited Bio Center, and in this year, this year in May, under your leadership, Professor uh, Lim Bae Kim from Chungbuk University and Polyclinic, Polyclinic Cancer Center in Zagreb signed an agreement to research and develop stem cells and generative medicine together and to cooperate in further exchange programs. Are you personally interested in biotechnology, or is the Croatia government want to develop this industry? But far beyond that, I believe that education is crucial for prosperity of any nation. Mm -hmm. And this is an additional reason why I always try to put my priority in learning how we can connect and make closer cooperation between those who produce the knowledge and those who utilize the knowledge between academic field, research institutes, science, technology institutes, and industry. Why biotechnology? I mean, it's a, uh, Croatia is a relatively small country, but we have, uh, so far, two Nobel Prize winners in chemistry. Uh, for a small country, it's achievement. Uh, plus, uh, Nikola Tesla, famous inventor, uh, he was born in Croatia. At that time, was also the Hungarian Empire. And this is the reason why I think probably many of us uh, representing Croatia abroad has the tendency, have the tendency 
to support and encourage the area of science, innovation, technology mm -hmm. as the built bridge uh, between two countries. So since 2016, Multicultural TV has set operational goals as a public service channel of making Korean culture channel for foreigners in Korea and a world culture channel for Koreans. Would you like to give us any advice or suggestions? As a diplomat, I think that we all benefit really with the abundance of information about the Korean way of life, history, culture. What I can say is that I congratulate your TV and all of you who have contributed significantly uh, to this field. I mean, we all know that the people are moving around the world. Uh, when we come to the new country, it's not always easy to adjust ourselves. Even if we live in the same country and we move the city, uh, it's, it's a new environment. But I think that all of you have done a lot to help the people coming to Korea uh, to feel uh, us at home as soon as possible. As a diplomat, I